Well before Thrawn's career within the Imperial Navy in the Galactic Empire, the Chiss came across the Republic General Anakin Skywalker during the final year of the Clone Wars. Their paths intertwined when they both found themselves on the far-edged Outer Rim planet named Batu, where they both helped one another to recon and eliminate the threat of a secret Separatist project for their separate respective missions. During this time, Thrawn and Anakin came to highly respect each other for their unique skill sets. Anakin was the first Jedi Thrawn had ever met in person, having only heard about the magical force-wielding knights in rumors and tales. He also came to value the Jedi's courage and fighting prowess, so much so that Thrawn went out of his way to help Anakin, even after he had already completed his own mission for the Chiss people. On the other hand, Anakin came to have high regards for Thrawn, for his tactical mind and nearly unnatural ability to analyze situations. He was so impressed with the Chiss's talents, that Anakin actually mentioned and praised him to Chancellor Palpatine after he returned back to Coruscant. Many years later, Thrawn used this interaction between the two and Anakin's earlier praise of him as a means to gain Emperor Palpatine's trust. However, during this same meeting, Thrawn was informed that Anakin was killed during the Clone Wars, a statement the Chiss seemed to be skeptical of. It wouldn't be until much later in his career, finally at the rank of Grand Admiral, that Thrawn would get the chance to work alongside Darth Vader. Palpatine had felt a disturbance in the force that came from the planet Batu, in which he decided to send his Chiss Grand Admiral and Sith Apprentice to go investigate. During their trip, Thrawn on multiple occasions tested and in some ways trolled Darth Vader on the fact that he was the very same Anakin Skywalker he had worked alongside with many years earlier during the Clone Wars, and ironically, they were heading back to the very same planet they originally met on. As we all know, Vader regarded Anakin to be a separate person from himself, someone who had died the moment he became a true Sith Lord. Any memories of his past brought about tremendous emotional pain, and it was so bad for him that he literally killed all those who discovered his true past identity. And Thrawn's trolling, or tests, almost ended up getting him force choked, especially as they got gradually more irritating for the Sith Lord. At first, during their journey to Batu, Thrawn often brought up Anakin and his adventures with the Jedi Knight whenever talking about what he knew about the planet they were about to visit. Each time Anakin was brought up, Vader always made it clear that he was dead and of no importance, to which Thrawn always responded with, so I have been told, never fully acknowledging the Sith Lord's statement to be true. When this first happened, Vader wasn't fully sure if Thrawn was mocking him or if that was just how he went about himself. Each time he checked the Grand Admiral's emotions through the Force to see if that was the case, only to find that Thrawn was always fully neutral whenever he indirectly dismissed Vader's claims that Anakin was dead. As they arrived to Batu and began to explore it, Thrawn began to talk about the planet with Vader as if the Sith Lord had been there with him on it long ago, even once using the word we when talking about how he discovered vital intel on it. When this happened, Vader actually had to take a moment to stop himself before correcting the Grand Admiral that no one else on the Star Destroyer had ever visited that planet. Thrawn apologized, stating that it was true that only he himself ever visited the planet, and that he made an error by saying we when referring to how he discovered the information during his visit at the time of the Clone Wars. Just like last time, Vader checked Thrawn's emotions through the Force, only to again find that they were neutral, just as they were the last confrontation. Though perhaps the biggest troll move from Thrawn was what came next. The so-called disturbance that Palpatine felt came from a small group of Chiss children who had been kidnapped by a violent alien species that came from the Unknown Regions. These Chiss children were in fact Force-sensitive, and Thrawn's people used their connection to the Force as a means to navigate through the dangerous portions of the Unknown Regions, as the children could use the Force to show them safe passages through hyperspace. They also used a special machine to better help them see the paths through the Force, and submit them to the ship they were on. During their search of another kidnapped group of Force-sensitive Chiss children, Thrawn suggested Vader to use this machine and the Force to better locate the kidnappers that were within deep space of the Unknown Regions. Vader reluctantly agreed to this, and entered the machine. Once inside, Thrawn asked if he wanted to know what his people called those who used the Force to navigate space travel. Vader didn't seem to care, but Thrawn continued on, first saying the name in his native language, before translating it to Galactic Standard, which translated to Skywalkers. This of course grabbed Vader's attention, in that Thrawn purposely asked him to enter this machine and later go out of his way to inform him that those who used it were called Skywalkers. 
Again, through the Force, Vader checked Thrawn's feelings, and once more they were neutral. This only frustrated the Sith Lord, which only piled on Vader's dislike toward the Grand Admiral, as he had suspicions of Thrawn's true loyalty to the Empire throughout their time working together. There would be one more time after that where Thrawn hinted he knew Vader was Anakin right in front of him, by stating that he felt he owed Vader a favor, because many years ago, Anakin had helped him while they were on Batu, and that he wanted to balance that out among the two of them. At a point where he was almost shouting, Vader stated he did not care whatsoever about any favors that Thrawn believed he owed, and that Anakin was dead, that he did not matter, that Thrawn's only concern should be serving the Empire, and not to any other man or purpose. Not out of fear, but perhaps out of realization that Vader was truly not the same man as Anakin, not in a literal sense, but in a mental one, and that the Jedi Knight he served with and befriended many years ago was never going to return. As for the very first time, Thrawn acknowledged in front of Vader that Anakin was indeed dead, and that he made a mistake of ever assuming that wasn't the case. After that, Thrawn made no mention of Anakin, or any means to try to bring the Jedi back from Vader's mental imprisonment. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.